Hi there, Cancer, Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is your October 2020 Love Monthly Forecast Reading with me, Chrissy, from In the Stars by Chrissy.com, or as some of you may know, as Heart Divine. If you're new to my channel, please do know that I do monthly intuitive forecast love readings and astrology videos and if this is something that you're interested in please do consider subscribing now before we begin the reading let us first talk about the month of october and what we might be you know feeling or experiencing in a very general level now astrology wise we do have mercury retrograde or we will have them maybe around the middle of of the month i have to double check but we definitely are going to experience some form of retrograde motions in the sign of uh, mercury in scorpio and at the same time we are still going to feel the effects of mars retrograde in aries so um yeah i'm checking in with my phone right now to see when this occurs and this is going to be at october 14 onwards so that's when the mercury retrograde is going to happen so when mercury and mars retrograde is occurring in the skies there could be a sense of reflective moments and a sense of confusion for some but Retrogrades are essentially a time of, you know, personal um, development, you know, things that we might be, you know, awakening during this time, realizations can occur as well. I kind of feel that, you know, um, for a lot of cancer people, because Scorpio is, you know, in the field of water sign, so it is highly linked with cancer people so there is a sense of you know very um intuitive kind of feeling that a lot of cancer people might be experiencing and i think it's just you know very fitting that we have a lot of blue <laughs> colors over here giving us that watery energy watery element that might be um you know um, coming in very strongly for a lot of cancer people so this could be a time of you know can be very emotional very could be a feel-good moment it could be some form of harmony coming in i just kind of feel that your heart is going to speak in much more strongly during this time as well so i kind of feel that there could be a lot of positive developments that m you might be experiencing um, as a whole so we are whenever there is a lot of retrograde motions we are not really expecting any you know too much forward moments you know forward happenings and progressions in our life but retrograde is more on it doesn't mean that you're not going to see any form of results it's just that um, things might be slow and you might need to to look back in the past and you know all of those kinds of energies might be coming in so um let's you know check in what we might be experiencing what you might be um how things are going to manifest in terms of you personally and in terms of your love life um, for the month of october so the first card that you have over here is the star the star gives a lot of hope it could be some form of idea that comes in. It could be very sudden as well. It has an element of inspiration and, you know, just a feel-good moment. And it's with the um, high priestess over here giving us the energy, you know, of, you know, psychic and very intuitive time for a lot of cancer people as well. And we have here the night of wands i believe yeah it's the knight of wands so it could be you know uh maybe someone in this is inspiring you right now you could be in a in a very feel good <laughs> realm of your life this could be uh you might be meeting someone in particular it could trigger a first love or a trigger some form of impulse inside of you that gives you a really very happy, happy moment in your life as well. When the Knight of Wands enters the scene, this is something that comes as a surprise, something you don't even expect. 
but with the wonderful energy of this star i kind of feel that there is some form of support right here so yeah um because i'm talking about this in a very general level i won't be able to give you very specific details but i just kind of feel that there is a possibility of someone coming in or a news of some kind might enter the scene that gives you um some form of joy in your life you know a knight of wands is a very adventurous and joyful card even as well so you know maybe someone is definitely coming in along with the knight of swords it could be a sudden message it could be message from afar message from overseas or you know uh, i kind of feel that there could be a lot of engaging moments a lot of communication might be coming in and do notice that we also have the knight of cups here as the last card of this spread that we have so we have three nights so this is really telling that you know it could be uh your maybe there is a possibility that you meet three guys or three men in your life that will be entering the scene or it could be knights are like messengers as well so they bring in some form of news so um there is a possibility that you know you might be maybe a lot of love affairs might come in or affairs from the past might enter the scene or some form of news just is just entering um the scene at this time it could also be a sign we're in you know um you might have an idea of some on something it could be in a relationship or whatever endeavor that you are in right now and you are wanting to pursue them that's also a big possibility the next card we do have here the strength card this is a really really wonderful card it it denotes some form of power and passion as a whole so this could be giving us a, an energy we're in you know um, a lot of times, a lot of cancers can be quite, you know, um, they're not exactly very fickle, but they are, you know, they tend to put off making drastic actions because they are in concern of what other people might think or they are concerned of their own safety, emotional security and all of that. With this in, in, in place, it gives me a feeling that, you know, this could be a time where in whatever you are feeling right now, you're, you will not be afraid to take action, you know. You won't be afraid to take action upon your own feelings. So it is highly possible that it's easy for you to emotionally react all at the same time we do have the four of pentacles here so this is like holding on to things that you care about holding on to things that you know that you have as possessions as well this could be an energy of stubbornness you know so if you are emotionally stubborn and all of that that could play out uh, for you in in the month of october as well this could be a situation wherein you might be dealing with someone who is stubborn and you know you might need to you know uh, <laughs> i don't know you might need to talk to this person and to express your own thoughts express your own feelings and how to um, navigate the situation properly so things can get better we do have the high priestess card here which is all about wisdom and intuitive intuitive um, situation so this gives us a feeling that you might meet you might learn something you might find out something uh, those kinds of things are in place over here it's about it's about you know being mature enough to 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 accept the situation as it is and make the necessary actions not because you are being stubborn about it but because it is the right thing to do so 
the next card we do have here the two of pentacles and the two of pentacles is always always about making decisions and trying to balance things out maybe you are at the point of your life where and you need to balance your your mind and your heart all at the same time it could be some form of um, decision making that you are been pondering about you know maybe you're thinking about doing something but you're not sure if you should actually venture into that or you could be also in a, in a situation wherein you might feel that you know you're 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 acting too much upon your own feelings and that and then you you are you know thinking if maybe you should do things in a very practical approach we do have the full card over here and the full card is a very you know it's a card of I would say taking a leap of faith into things, you know, you know, it's it's really not a card that is based on logic or anything like that. It's based on impulse and, you know, uh, believing in faith and destiny as a whole. It, it has a wonderful element wherein instead of deliberating, instead of thinking of the what ifs and what not, you could be in a situation wherein you're just going to trust your own instincts and take action uh, based on that, you know. At the same time, I, I just kind of feel that there is an energy here wherein you are thinking about things in a very deep level. And at one point in time, you also want to just finish whatever it is that you need to do, you know. It's like, what the heck, I just want to do this, so I'll just go ahead without thinking too much about it. So there is the form of energy that comes in here. The next card that we have is the Seven of Pentacles, which is all about, you know, standing your ground and patience as a whole and definitely overcoming something. And I kind of feel that with the Strength card and the Seven of Pentacles, sorry, Seven of Wands over here, this is like a really good energy that of passion and, you know, protecting something, maybe protecting yourself, protecting your loved ones and really... Uh, I would say that there is a possibility that if you believe in something and someone is trying to clash on your own beliefs, this is a time wherein you're not gonna, you're not going to allow them to, to just shove away your own ideas. You are going to fight for what you believe is right, what you think is right. You are going to push forward with your own thoughts. So it's easy for you to communicate right now. It's easy for you to say your own feelings and express them um, even though that in the past you would hesitate to do that, but this is this time you are inclined to just you know go all out with your own feelings, with what your thoughts is telling you during this time. And we come to the last card of the deck, and this is the Knight of Cups. So this could be a situation wherein someone comes into your life, or it could be um, something that you have been waiting for for quite some time enters the scene and you know um, it is definitely a good energy and the knight of cups among all of the knights i find that this is the second to the last <laughs> um, because the knight of cups is not in a rush you know something it's something that you have been waiting for and with the four of pentacles here and the Knight of Cups, it could be with someone someone that you have been waiting for or you might be waiting on someone who is stubborn and doesn't want to change or this could be a situation wherein, you know, um, I would say jealousy can play a big role as well, you know, and if you want to change something and you know i just kind of feel that it could be that there is someone it could be you it could be a, another person someone doesn't want to change you know um, there's something that has to change but there is someone that doesn't want to change that you know it could be that they're being too traditional this could be you and you know that there could be clashes with that but um, as a whole this could be a situation as well wherein your patience and your efforts are being rewarded to a point wherein you might receive some form of good news 
that um, that has been put off for quite some time. So that's actually pretty much of a good thing. Surprisingly enough, we do have here Uranus in the sign of Aries in the second house as the um, asteroid is playing in with the major um, elements that can affect a lot of you cancer people out there. So this is like telling us that, you know, there could be sudden surprises in areas of where Aries is involved. You know, it could be sudden changes when it comes to your friendships, your, your connections to people. And um, I would say that whenever the second house is involved, it can be having to do with your exes or having to do with um, what security and what stability means for you. So um, if, that, if that is being threatened, I kind of feel that you are going to take action um, to, to, to make sure that everything becomes safe, everything becomes emotionally stable for you. So let's see what's going on with the Lenormand cards that we have over here. First of all, we have the garden and then the dog card that is telling us, you know, some form of acquaintance might come in. Some, someone that you already know. You might meet someone that you already know or you might meet someone who could be a potential to be a good friend, you know. It could be someone from work as well as a possibility. This person is definitely going to come into your life. However, we do have here the ship, which is all, it's just actually a good card. Yeah, it has a forward movement here. It's telling us that things are, you know, gradually progressing. It's just that the last card of the Lenormand, we do have here the, the clouds, which, you know, having some form of clarity, we're in, it, there is a possibility that you might question if this is the right thing, or you might question your own decisions, or you might question the credibility of someone, um, the people that you meet, or someone in your life right now. I would say that um, there could be some form of confusion that you are feeling right now, but you are only going to be confused if you are going to base everything upon logic and reasoning. I feel that for a lot of cancers, one thing that you need to know is that for you to navigate well this month of October, it's just to to base everything upon your gut upon your instincts what you feel inside of you i kind of feel that this is really going to come in very strongly as you are going to be very psychic during this time so your insights and things that you feel you intuitively are feeling will bring in much more um confidence in your decision makings so um yeah i do feel that you know um there is definitely someone going to come into your life someone very determined even you know we do have a lot of nights here so i'm not going to be surprised if you know a lot of uh, some of you guys might hook up with quite a few um, person in the in their life during this time as I'm seeing that you know there could be some form of attraction being formed here so um, yeah it's actually a very good um, card, card <laughs> and message that we are getting for a lot of um, cancer people which is not very um, not all signs are getting this kind of thing, you know. So I feel that a lot of cancers will benefit from, from this energy. So be mindful of the people that you meet right now. That they might give you like good feelings, good energy, a sense of love even. Or if not that, you might benefit from them one way or another in dif different means also. So, um, yeah, thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me. If you do find this reading helpful, please do like, share, and subscribe. Your comments also are always appreciated. And if you do want a personal reading that is in-depth, detailed, and specifically done for you, you can do that by booking a session with me through my website in the starsbychrissy.com. And with that, I shall see you guys again next month. Bye!